I never got it, what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you Hey, Denise! Hi, Lola! Walking around. Ooh, I got breakfast. breakfast. Oh, yummy! Yeah. Celebrating the baby's birthday! Just 10 days apart. Hello guys and welcome to our European adventure vlog. We are in Nice right now. We're going to be in Nice, Paris, and then we are going to London. Today is our second day here. We are waiting for little baby Ace to wake up. We're with our friends Cody and Bria. They have a little baby that's 10 days younger than Lola. They were going to go to Europe to celebrate his birthday and we <laughs> pretty much invited ourselves. So here we are. And it's actually been so fun. I was so nervous to bring the girls here, but we had a really good travel day. Cody and Bria did not have a very good travel day. They missed one of their flights and it was kind of crazy, but we all made it here. Yesterday, we kind of just walked around Nice and explored. And if you guys remember, I actually came here when I was pregnant with Cove. It was my last like Bessie girl trip with Lauren before I had a baby. So it's been a long time, but I'm happy that we came to somewhere that I've been before because it's nice to just like feel familiar, especially just being like, this is our first big, big trip with kids. So today we are actually taking a train and going to Menton, which I've also been to before. It's like the cutest little town. But here's a quick little Airbnb tour. The living room, Lola's over here. She's supposed to be eating her breakfast, but she just literally threw all of it on the ground. This is the kitchen. There's a little pantry back in there and a like washing machine. There's a little piano. This is the front door. And then this is Cody and Bria's room. This is their bathroom and then we have these two rooms because it's easier to get the girls to sleep when they are not in the same room so parker and cove actually slept in here and then me and lola slept in here so i'm gonna make our bed really quick but i was worried about just like the jet lag and if we like didn't wake up and i don't know so i wanted each of us to like be in a room with each baby in case they woke up lola is a little genius though and she has literally slept 12 hours both nights that we've been here i got some rest but cove has woken up both nights for a little bit anyways i'm gonna pick up our room and then we are gonna go to the We made it to Menton. This is the most beautiful view ever. All the cute little buildings. For some lunch, I got a chicken burger. He got a cheeseburger, a, cheesy burger. a cheesy one. We got some bruschetta. Aspen got the same thing, plus an omelet. And the fries are really good. They're salted to perfection, I would say. I would say. Really? Yeah. More salt. Really? More salt. It looks really? like it's I have more. Well guys, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got scammed. And I knew what was happening, but I just felt too bad. You. Was he was already making it, and so I felt too bad. I know that's thing. how they get you. We're sitting at breakfast. We already, we weren't in like a bad mood, yeah. but we were all starving. <laughs> we went to like three different breakfast places. We wanted to go to this one, and then the line was really long, and it was small. And we have this stroller and this stroller. So to get it anywhere is a little bit of a struggle. We also have not found any high chairs at a single restaurant that we've been to, but anyways, third breakfast place, we finally are like, yes, let's just sit, let's eat. And then this clown comes up, and he looked so sad. That's what got me, is that he looked really sad. And he came up to us yesterday and tried to give us balloons, and we were like, no, 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 no. And I said, is it free? Knowing that it Duh. wasn't, but he said, yes, it was. He probably didn't understand me, or he lied. He makes balloons. The lowest money that we had, like cash, was 10 euros. So we paid <laughs> 10 euros. <laughs> For this balloon and because i time, felt too no, bad the whole time we're all sitting there i saying, know they're all like no no i don't couldn't do it. stop he looks so sad he's I, a clown i know <laughs> cody stopped for some oh. uh local fruit oh, persimmon. persimmon man there's nothing better mm. Mm. oh sorry baby it looks delicious <laughs> We got the little angel babies napping in their stroller. Lola, this is the first stroller nap she's taken. She usually doesn't want to miss out. Babies. Hi, babies. There's a little bunny. Come see it with me. Can we go see it with mom? Yeah. There's a cute little bunny. 
that's so cute. What does the bunny say? Hop, hop. Cute little bunny. So happy that we brought the double stroller. I know, it's getting for such it good just, use. For it to just be empty. We just took a train to Ville France or Mare. Hopefully not to Mare, but really, really cute so far. chocolate every time yeah you always get like a chocolate fudge like a dark chocolate almost not dark chocolate chocolate brownie chocolate brownie here how about you film giving daddy a bite can you hold that can you see dad hey um, did you see it yeah good job hey but i'm worth it because i'll slip into your dream hope is obsessed with the piano and always asks cody to play with her Behind the scenes of a beautiful Instagram shot of the sunset. Wow. See if he does it right this time. <laughs> Was that good? Did he get it? One more time! I'm just so funny. One more. So fun taking kids to a restaurant. <laughs> Yesterday, last night, we went on a little boat tour that kind of just like took you around by the Eiffel Tower and then we got dinner by the Eiffel Tower. Then we kind of just went and hung out on the grass by the Eiffel Tower. So we just like kind of sat and chilled and watched that. What? Yes, we're gonna bring the devil's down there. So right now, we are, I just posted on Instagram and asked for recommendations of what to do in Paris with kids because we didn't really have like anything specific planned. We are doing Disneyland tomorrow, which will be fun. But today we have just like a couple things that you guys suggested. We're also in our new Airbnb. It's really cute. It's a little bit dark in here though. We can't like figure out how to turn on the lamp. Cody and Bria are in a different Airbnb now. So little Airbnb tour. We walk in the door. We have couch couch we have all our stuff we've been just like kind of cleaning up and organizing we went out to breakfast this morning and then we came back made a plan and we've just been like picking up so then the kitchen's right here dining table and then you go back in here and this is a bathroom with just a toilet and then this is a bathroom with everything toilet shower all of that and then we have two bedrooms so we have this one and we have this one which has a crib in it and then this also has another bathroom which actually does not have a toilet in it it just has a shower yeah this place is really nice and i'll show you guys the outside because there's like a little courtyard area you like walk in from the street and go through like a corridor and then these are all of like the other apartments so kind of fun we just walked here for like 35 minutes. We're like, yeah, we were like, we're not in a rush. We'll just walk. And now it's raining, kind of. Hard. We're looking at a Doppler, so. and it looks like the storm is covering like the entire country. Yeah, it's not supposed to stop like all day, so we're just sitting under some shade for a minute. Why don't we go back to your bed? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Mm. We're in the Eiffel Tower. We are at Disneyland Paris today. We just rode on the Tower of Terror. It's a 35 minute wait. That was probably an hour. I always think I'm gonna hate it and it's always fine, but we just rode on it. We got stroller passes. You didn't know. You get a stroller pass, you have a stroller. And now the boys can go and they don't have to wait. So I just learned about this last time I went to Disney. But this is my third Disneyland park actually. I've been to Disneyland in Tokyo, California, and here. Cause I got the system of 
favorite thing Cause you could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Well, we got some souvenirs Found a store full of Simba toys For some reason, like, all of the food stands are closed There's, like, cafes and stuff that are open But all of the little, like, food stands They would have, like, churros or reniers or anything Like, 99% of them are closed And I don't know why We've been looking for beignets for, like, 30 minutes now. I was just filming a, a clip about how we like cannot find any food and Parker wasn't over here because he was trying to figure out this cafe because he wants the turkey legs and it's closed. We are starving in Disneyland. Well guys, we found beignets but they're not hot and they don't have powdered sugar and they have stuff in them like filling. We didn't realize that until we waited in line for 20 minutes. We got one anyways but they're not hot. They don't they're have not powdered hot. Sugar. They're massive. I know, so we waited in line and then saw we didn't want them, got them anyways, and now we're complaining about them. Wait, did you try it? Yeah, it's fine, but no, it's, it's not, not what good. I wanted. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> footage because we I don't we know just why. enjoyed ourselves we kind of just enjoyed ourselves Parker's mom actually flew in she works for an airline so she gets flight benefits so we were like you should come meet us in London so she came with one of her friends and it's been so fun I'm glad they came because I feel like trips like this like big trips are just more fun when you're like with people. it is and it makes it less so, stressful for sure yeah it was nice they actually babysat Lola last night because yeah. yesterday was our seven year wedding anniversary seven and years. we took Cove to Frozen the musical Cove being with a it. one year old for three weeks straight is stressful it's been two so weeks it feels like a two lifetime weeks, two weeks two and a half weeks and it's only been two it's been like two it and a half. It feels like forever. But <laughs> yeah, it was days. like a really good break yeah, to good. not have her for two yeah. hours. I bought the tickets and then I looked at the rules for the show and you can't have a baby in your arms anyway. So it like worked out perfect that they were here. But yeah, it's been very fun, but it is definitely a lot to have two babies here. So I want to do a little Q&A in our next vlog. If you guys have any questions about the trip and like logistics of everything, then let me know down below. Yeah, we initially were only going to be in London for like two nights and then the plan changed and now we were here for like five nights and I couldn't get a refund or like change my hotel booking. So we've been in a hotel this whole time instead of an Airbnb. That's also been kind of hard just because we have like less room. We're trying to get like Lola to take a nap when we're all in here. It's been a little bit crazy, but we've had a lot of fun. This is going to be the end of our travel vlog. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Leave your questions down below for the next video and we'll see you guys back at home. Bye guys.